Yeah, girl, get it. I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. And from what I have heard, you do the same thing too. What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. I was gonna say a short vlog, but I don't know if it'll be short or not. But look what Jules has been doing to her hair. Let's get you nice and close to this here. Yeah, we got some applesauce. We got some sour cream, we got some pierogies in there. We got some applesauce. Jules, what are you doing? Your hair, I mean, can I take some hair strips from you? Do you want more pouch? Oh my god, even the pouch is gross. You want it? When she got home, she was in a bad mood so session. Very, what did you do? Well, explain what happened at work. Well, I'll let you explain that. So. Well, come get the camera. It was like 525. And I was walking with a parent out and I was about to go do something and I see her with my mom in the little teacher's room. My mom's like, oh, no other babies were there. She was crying. I picked her up. Yada, yada, yada. So my mom also goes, you know, I also think she feels really warm. So I said, you know, maybe we should take her temperature. I said, our thermometer here is horrible. So bad. I said, last time Keith almost threw it. So I said, if we could, that would be good. So we walked into her room and her one teacher said, you know, she also needs a diaper change. Let her, let me do it. It's been two hours. I don't want her to go home super wet. So as they were doing her diaper change, they tried to do the old fashioned thermometer under the armpit. There was four of us there and you would have thought we were murdering her god forbid like she was screaming bloody murder crying bawling so after like 10 minutes it read normal she doesn't didn't have a temp. but then like she was like literally bawling her eyes out when we got to the car i gave her the keys and then when i had to take them back to search the car she also started freaking out <laughs> yeah but she's happy now and that's what counts. She's gonna get a bath as I clean up from dinner. We just said pierogies, easy. I wasn't in the mood to make a full meal, but we still need to eat something. So they're not the healthiest, but they're also not the worst. But I'm gonna get back to cleaning up. Keith's gonna give her a bath and we'll be back. Go ahead. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Can you play it? Can I help you? You do? What happened? Did you yes? Yeah, baby booty down. Yeah, girl, get it. Um, mama. Yes, baby. Again? You want me to put it on again? All right, well, it's that time. I'm gonna try to get someone to bed. Can you say goodbye? Okay, we'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah? We were talking about it, last night was rough. Um, as you saw, we actually didn't end the vlog. So I'm gonna do a little ending in a second here for that. Um, we didn't end the vlog last night. She woke up, I think it was like 9.30 or so. 
<laughs> and then did not go back to bed. She would not fall back asleep. No. She was up in bed with us. I kept putting her down, putting her down, putting her down. I think probably around 12, 30, 1 o'clock, she finally fell asleep. And then we all woke up. Well, I woke up around 2. And then brought her downstairs to her crib. And then Jen said she woke up like 10 to 6. <laughs> and then fell back asleep in the bed. Like I woke up again with her in the bed. I had no idea she was even there. <laughs> but it's going to be a challenge. We try to put her to bed, and then we'll be back. A few moments later. You ready? Okay. But wait, what time did Jules go to bed? Probably fell asleep around 9.50. So she's been asleep for an hour, so she's either going to stay asleep for the night or we're about to head upstairs and then she'll wake up. Let's hope it's for the night. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty crappy. Since S someone that has a stomach bug or a form of it. Yeah, it's not like the stomach bug where everybody's vomiting. Like, mine is the opposite end, not to be too gross. But the weird thing is, like, last week from my surgery and the anesthesia and Percocet, I had the opposite problem. I couldn't poop. So, yesterday when this started, I kind of thought it was just my body and system getting it all out. But then today, like, it keeps feeling like my intestines keep getting clamped up and then let go and clamped up. But I mean, I have an appetite. I ate a lot of dinner, a lot of pierogies. So I don't know, I'm also just exhausted. Yeah, I'm pretty tired too. So, I mean, from last night with Jules, that was just insane. So hopefully it doesn't happen. And we get to stay asleep. Yeah, last night we went up with her around 11.15. And we, I know, I looked at my cell at 12.10. And she was still awake. Yeah. But then I woke up at 1.30 and we were all sleeping. So she fell asleep somewhere between 12.10 and 1.30. Insane. So I brought, like I said before, I brought her downstairs. And what time you brought her up? Like 10 to 6? Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow is Wednesday. What are we doing tomorrow? Anything? No, we got to do stuff that we didn't get done tonight. I did fold laundry and I did one load of laundry that still has to go in the dryer. So I'll give you, you get to pick either you can clean up her toys or you can go put her laundry in the dryer. Her clothes are already in the dryer. What? Her clothes are already in the dryer. Oh, you did that already? Yeah, so you get to do the clothes at the toys on. Well, I have to do this too. I have to put these in the basket and get the ones from the kitchen. So. All right, we're going to head on upstairs. We're going to end the vlog. So, let's give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Sorry for being boring. Share a smile. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.